We built a traditional sawmill log house on our property in the remote woods. We installed screw piles for the foundation and built a base for the deck and log cabin to sit on. All the logs have been joined to create the first and second floor. The walls have been treated, stairs have been built, and we even landscaped the entrance. Now it's time to dry it in by laying metal on the roof and completing the interior. That was scary. Still scared. Well, in good and bad news, it's gonna take us longer to set up the scaffolding than it is to put the roof on. How much do you want me to pull? First step to a leak-free roof is making sure you have the right underlayment. We are doing a nice metal roof. So we need this Surefoot. No, it's not called Surefoot. I just like that part of it. It's really sticky when you're on the roof. So the pine boards or any type of roof is automatically really slippery. So this adds a nice grip for the roofer. But what it really is for is it has like a beautiful, beautifully taped behind it. So that way when you do screw in your, your screws for your metal, it self seals them. It's also very good in cold and high temperatures, meaning that metal heats up, conduction, and you don't want any of that tar to be leaking on your building. So this is the stuff for metal. I'm sure there's other products, but this is our go-to. It's nice and easy to work with once you get the hang of it, and we love it. I think we've used it on three roofs so far. So, well, this is the third one. I know, I know what it takes to get it out and let out a breath of fresh air, but I'm a little afraid I'm still holding it in and I don't want to let go. We are gonna mark where our rafters are on the underlayment. That way, when we're screwing down our metal roof, it is nice and secure as the roofing boards are not that thick. The hardest piece is on the first piece of the underlayment. Three more for this side. I'm trying to lose my grip. I'm holding it in. I'm holding it in. Just let it out. We don't need to do this. Why? Because we need to we need to know the metal. We just need to pre-drill the metal. Oh, go on. Okay, so what we need to do is we go seven. Math. Let's do this. Seventeen, whatever. Yeah. And then seventeen and three fours. Let's write it down. First side's done. Look at that. Already going to be moving on to the metal this time. I know it's only an extra five feet of scaffolding, but like we said before, you've been putting up ten feet of scaffolding. This challenge. So we're trying to move the big construction equipment less. So metals are? Can you believe it? Small roofs, man. Small roofs. Nothing like a new bit, eh? I love that all your weight is into this. And falls. The roof is just about 14 feet. So we have pre-drilled five sheets. Fifth one's gonna have to be ripped and um, figuring out how we're gonna get them out there. We also did some mathematics and our pre-drill holes will go exactly where our rafters are. The roofing boards are pretty thin on this bunkie, so we wanna make sure the roofing is completely secured into the rafters and that way you don't see any screws inside as well. Drip edge, easy close. And we're ready for metal. Quarter of the way done on one sheet. It's a baby roof, eh? Baby roof. Oh, Chris, sorry. I'm not jumping in. I'm a driver now. 
the famous nibblers. They're on their third piece of metal cut in 2024. So pretty. So beautiful, so pretty. This project coming to you in 2025. Yet another year we overestimated our abilities of what we can do. That one. Take some guesses what you think it's gonna be. Yeah, let's play guessing game. Write in the comments what you think this is gonna be and where you think it's gonna go. Trust me, it ain't going here. Ta -da! We have a roof. A whole side is complete. Not gonna lie, didn't think I was gonna say that this morning. Although it's quite small, still is very intimidating being this high on the scaffolding. We started late, we had to set up. Yeah. Like we actually started late, yeah. Don't know if we mentioned it, but this is three scaffoldings. It's no longer two. That's how high this roof is. Good job. <clears throat> Looks so good. Yeah, it really ties the bunkie together, I have to say. Yeah. It makes it look more like woodsy. You wouldn't say. <laughs> what? The roof ties it together. Oh yeah, oh my god. Uh -huh. It's gonna like it during hurricane season and winter. Yeah. Which? <laughs> Where uh, if we haven't mentioned, <laughs> it's on the way. It's, it's here. Yeah. And as soon as we get this roof on, that means we can do things inside, which is pretty cool because as of lately, it's been raining inside. So with a roof, we're gonna have a dried in space and that is awesome. Pray for winter. One roof at a time. Does she sound like Eeyore or what? <laughs> Preparing for winter, one roof at a time. All right, come on down, I look like lady. Good morning and thank you to Sundays for sponsoring this video and for making delicious healthy food that our girls love. It really wasn't until recently that what we feed our dogs has become a topic of conversation. And I'm so glad it has because the reality is, is that if you're reaching for the most convenient dog food bag, it's more than likely the equivalent to a box of cookies. And these dogs live such short, beautiful lives and they eat the same thing every day. The best thing that we can do as pet owners is feed our dogs foods, whole foods, real foods, zero synthetics. They deserve that. Which is why we love Sundays. They take human grade ingredients and they air dry them into little shelf stable pieces that your dogs will love. Believe it or not, <laughs> Ben is here to tell you. Wow, that's it? If you want something your dog is gonna love and you're gonna feel so good about feeding, try Sundays. It's 90% meat and 10% superfoods, 0% fillers. This is something to celebrate and not only is it healthy, it's super convenient, no mess, no prep, and you don't even need to keep it in the fridge. Our dearest supervisors, Bella and Izzy, have an amazing deal for you, 50% off your first order of Sundays using code VanWives or click the link in the description. Roofing this cabin is going to take less time than the setup process. We're making some flat ground right now for the scaffolding on the other side. Four to six inch rock with some crushed stone. And look at that flat foot, perfect. What's better than tying off to one Kubota machine? Two Kubota machines. I mean, yeah, you can help me too on the screen. Why does it look so much taller on this side? Okay, we are anchored on both sides. One by Tangerine, one by Clementine. The X and the tractor. And the reason I'm keeping both anchors up is that way when we do like the ridge cap and the rake and all the extra trim that you have to do on the roof, I don't need to do this over and over again because it was 12.55, it's now 1.13. And that's how long it takes. Not that long, but you know, when you have to keep doing things, it just adds up, adds up, adds up. Anywho, all that's left to do is add this extra, I don't know if people do this, but I found to feel way more secure when I added this board in yesterday. It allows my rope not to get slack because it's not one of those anchors that swivel. So if I move up, it slacks down and I like to keep it tight. So when you're just anchored onto like a tractor, every time you move, and there's, see how the slack that comes? 
which gets really scary when you're on this side because if the slack is too much, then you fall too much. So this is what I did yesterday and I really liked it. But I have to take this one off now because we're doing underlayment and that will be in my way. Now you can see that is super, super tight. So whenever I move on this side of the roof, this isn't gonna fall back and all that jazz. Clutch. We've already done two rows of underlayment in, I think that was 15 minutes. Oh, that's, that's a pat on the back. I know Hi girls. Really comes easy. It's hard to see clearly. When the heart is on the It's fierce and endeavor. Stay on the wild road. Girls, hello. Oh my gosh, she's tired. She's tired. The star of the show. We have much more important things to do than put a roof on our house. We have the WNBA playoffs. And the first time the Fever have been in the playoffs for a long, long time. Not only that, there's about a bunch of games today, so we got a full night of WNBA basketball. Eight teams left. We all aim at one Wow, that looks amazing. MVP! Game day done right. Done Hello. So right. Yummy. <laughs> Ready. Go Fever, go! Woo! Mama Jersier! <laughs> Look at the jerseys, represent everyone! And we're off! Let's go Fever, let's go! Fever! carried away but we're on the last sheet everyone you know how it goes you just get so into a project Bella's uh, squeaking because um, her gram's here who's excited we heard you squeaking who's excited to tell your mama then they were going in my cars they wanted to go is he stealing cars. money See, no you have treats in there no I used to I took them out last night then they smelled them anyhow cold morning now hot what time are we at time yeah 11.17. Wow, 11.17, hot already. Also, it's 11.17 and the roof is almost done. <laughs> love that, love that for us. <laughs> it's that. a really cute roof. Yeah, it is. Oh, if you're wondering, we also got really into the basketball game that we actually forgot to turn the camera on, which is a good thing. It's a great game. Great game. Many more to come, we're in the playoffs, baby. If fever lost, well, maybe only one more to come, they might get sweeped. But Las Vegas won, so go Aces. But if you're watching, so proud of where the fever came. <laughs> like they've come so far. Yeah, 18 turnovers <laughs> the first time. So, and I think only like two, three. But Seattle, Vegas was probably the best game on out of everyone. Anyways, we forgot to film. Measure the line then? No, now you just take that. What? Oh. Rake. Yeah. Cut it right in the middle. The and then rake? we bend it and it goes down and down. And then we cut the ends. We measure the ends. Right? Yeah. Pieces 
dishes are done. <laughs> They're actually the hardest. Look at that, perfection. You can come on down now. Thank God. Clementine, tangerine, you can go back to being machines. You're gonna have to buy another one of these from Mexico. It's time to turn this bunkie into a cozy home. It's empty, but this space has tons of potential. And now that it's watertight, we could even sleep in here tonight. You Funky rhyme. slumber party! <laughs> you rhymed there too. Really? Yeah. And now that it's water tight, we could even sleep in there tonight. Cool! <laughs> Let's do it. Would you like me to cut yours? I'm good. You have patience? Mm -hmm. Never takes long for Jasmine to want to innovate and do things her way. The own. better, faster, more efficient way. That's Jasmine's way. The better way. Show them what you did. Grind the one side off of Alan, and now you have a drill bit. No one has time for Alan. It's the perfect day, you'd think, but it's been nothing but sun showers. Check this out. What are you doing? Izzy? Come on! Come on, Izzy! <laughs> she hates the rain, eh? Why are you still standing there? Come on, Izzy! Come on! Oh! <laughs> Come on in, dry in here! Yeah, great! It's quite funny, as soon as we get the roof on, it starts raining and we're inside doing the furnishings. I call that real good luck. We've got happy some... Happy accident. A very happy accident. Get it, beer! Wow! You get it there. This goes up. Oh, baby, she's heavy. How's the new tool? Good. One step by time. Just go, go, go. Commit, commit. Oh. <laughs> what a disaster. You can do everything except build an IKEA couch. <laughs> the Swedish Italia. You know. Wow, that's cool. We really got it dirty already before we using it. Oh, wow. The couch is made to live. So those are supposed to hook in. Did it? Yeah, they did. It did? Yeah, look. And then you... I don't know what I'm doing. But... That comes up, I guess? Oh, and then down. Oh. Bed. Wow! Cool? Pretty cool. Sofa bed! I like it. All right, you build the rest. This is awesome. I this really like sweet. it. One more bed for people to sleep. Because it's a tiny space, bedding and storage in there. So, so cool. Great design. Great design, Bella. Do you love it, Bella? Good okay. pick. Comfy couch. I think it looks really nice. Good designing. Up here. Look at that. Are you mind blown or what? Yeah, it's sick. So much space. Chris. What? 
Cute. It's way more spacious than I thought. I thought you'd have trouble getting in and out of the bed, but you've got about five feet. Look at that. Cute. Want me to get you? <sighs> oh look, they didn't give you a whole piece. Nice, Wood, we gotta finish this. It's Momager's house! Yay! Yay. Momager and Bella's house! Yippee! <laughs> I've got my sign coming. Yeah, she actually does. Momager's I, cottage! I, yeah, Momager's cottage. I already have a sign ready. I've ordered it special. And it says Momager's Pack House. Nice. <laughs> what numbers are you? What's your civic address? Mine is 888. Beautiful. Good luck. Oh. <laughs> Good energy. People mm -hmm. know. People okay, know. Bella hasn't oh, left Bella. her alone. Oh my God. She's only been here for 25 days. Oh, Bella, love you. Obsessed. Oh, oh my God, she almost tripped me that time. <laughs> Swear to God, I did not expect it. Beer! Not very nice, beer. Okay, we're ca cutting a counter and playing with dogs. <laughs> oh, she did it. Yeah. Yay, she did it. Did we cut it right? Who knows? Who really knows? We did it right! That was nice! Yeah, it looked really good. Wow, it oh, looks super nice! 